Well, when it comes to oriental rugs, our next guest has a close connection and respect for the pieces he imports, the weavers who create them, and the customers who purchase them. Kababians is the oldest importer in the country, and they've been in New Haven since 1882. John Kababian joins us today. John, welcome to the show. Thank you, Desiree. Great to have you. Thank you. Fourth generation, been around since 1882. That's mm -hmm. a long time. It is. You didn't think I was that old, did you? <laughs> He's got humor, too. Now, listen, tell me a little bit about these rugs. They literally date back mm -hmm. thousands of years, and you say can only be done by hand. Yes, at least our rugs are done by hand. They're totally hand-woven or hand-knotted. How many different countries do you actually import from? Well, currently we're importing from about four countries. Wow. You know, it used to be more, but times are, have changed. And it is all about quality. I mean, does it really start with an idea? I mean, you are empowering people in war-torn countries mm -hmm. and, and giving them an opportunity to, to be able to provide a living for their families. Yes. When you're ordering the rugs, I mean, what's going through your mind? I mean, are you looking at different designs? How does that work? Uh, designs, but we're trying to satisfy our, our customers' needs. Right. So, uh, yes, we want to provide as much employment as possible for the weavers. That's mm -hmm. a, a major concern. Uh, but uh, it starts at this end. So we need to get the specs from a customer. They want to create a certain look for their room, size, quality. And then we give the order to the, the appropriate weaver. And you say that there's so much detail that goes into it. I think a lot of times mm. we don't think about that. We're like, mm. oh, it's a beautiful rug and that's it. But you say the tough work is one of these areas here, the loom. Yeah, the loom is where the most labor-intensive part of the, the business is done. Uh, it can take months and sometimes years to produce one hand-knotted oriental carpet. Really? Yes. And you're saying that there are certain tools that people use. I mean, you're mm -hmm. giving them the ideas, you're coming up with what it is you want, what your customer wants, mm -hmm. but when they're making it, they're also using tools that are not so easy. I mean, these right. are some of the tools here, right? These are some of them. They're, uh, these kinds of tools have been around for centuries. They're still used today. Uh, the main tool are the, the hands and the fingers. They're tying the knots. There are two basic types of knot. But once they tie the knot on the loom, after being warped, uh, once they complete a row of knots, for example here, then they'll pound it down with this weighted comb. It's, wow. And you can, you can feel it. It's, it's, it's heavy. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. 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 Wow. But it's done to a rhythm, and sometimes they're singing or chanting while they're doing the work. So it's actually, it can be fun for the weavers also. In such families. a family tradition, yes. I'm sure. Yeah, families get together and they'll, they'll weave together. John, do patterns yeah. and, and different things like that kind of reflect the certain people and, and the places they're from? To an extent, yes. Uh, uh, pieces like this, uh, this is a very formal piece. It's a very high-end piece. This is roughly 400 knots per square inch. Uh, it's only four feet by six feet, but this took one person six months to weave. Really? It's a lot of time, yeah. And, you know, you actually, if people look at our show, you know, usually every day we've got a beautiful rug on our set, on your Connecticut mm -hmm. style, and it's more of a classical look, would you say? More traditional. Traditional. Yeah, it's uh, this Isfahan over here. Okay. Yeah, and that would have taken uh, four weavers approximately eight months to weave. Wow. Yeah. I want to look over here at this beautiful prayer rug, and there mm -hmm. really is stories kind of woven into each rug. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this would be, you might consider this a little more folksy. This is a, an antique prayer rug. It dates from circa 1875, 1880. Uh, this piece is, uh, for someone who's pretty tall like me. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> right, but the uh, you can see symbolism in here. You mm -hmm. have human, human figures, uh, animals, the chickens. Uh, also, uh, here's a comb, which represents cleanliness. Uh, these uh, floral, stylized floral elements are uh, represent the garden. Wow. So you're bringing the garden with you. you, you this is something that uh, one would uh, carry with them through their life. Wow. Uh, I mean, you said earlier, too, that some of these are heirlooms. These are not pieces that you're right. going to buy, and that's it. I mean, these literally last you a lifetime. Yeah, if uh, with, the, with the better quality pieces, they'll definitely... That they can go hundreds of years if you if they're really well taken care of, uh, and that's the key. That's so, the key. Yeah. Look at let's look at this one because this one's really yep. interesting. What style is this one here? Are we looking at? Okay, this is a tribal piece. This is uh, what we call bakshayesh. Uh, it's uh, the it's the inspiration for this piece is from uh, an antique bakshayesh from north northwest Persia. Uh, the weavers there, even though it, it is Persia geographically, the, the weavers there are actually Turkic. They're Azeri people. Wow. So Can we uh, look at this one over here too, yeah. John? And, and what's going through people's minds? I mean, like, you know, if I come in and I say, you know, listen, I want a rug, what are some of the things I should really consider? Uh, you'd start 
mainly with the size, uh, the, you know, the, the room you're, you're trying to furnish. Mm -hmm. uh, best thing is to start with the carpet. That'll really uh, dictate the spirit of the room right. or the mood. Uh, if your house is uh, traditional formal, you'd want to get a uh, piece like one of those uh, traditional formal pieces. But you were even saying this is actually made from what type of animal? I'm sorry. I mean, well, it's, it's a skin. Is it? The wool is from. The wool? Okay. Is from the sh sheep. Okay. Sometimes Perfect. they take it from the lamb. Uh, the first shearing from the lamb is called cook wool. It's very fine. It's also very expensive. Wow. Uh, but this is from adult sheep. This is a folk theme or folk life rug. This is woven by the Kashkuli of Southwest Persia. Wow. They're a nomadic group and the, uh, they're primarily pastoralists. Uh, the men watch the animals, the women and the daughters do the weaving when they set, set up camp for a long period of time, which is okay. usually in the summer months. And let's quickly touch here just what you brought with you today here mm -hmm. in terms of the style and the pattern. This is a uh, Suzani inspired design. Suzani's are flat woven textiles, they're embroidered with silk and many of the Suzani designs that we order have a lot of silk in them. Okay. Uh, this one has a little bit, but uh, many of them have a lot. And these are, uh, Suzani's are actually bedspread, so we're, but we're borrowing these designs and, and creating hand knotted carpets so people can walk on them. Wow. And we should mention really quickly that if people want, like, you know, recreated pieces, I mean, mm -hmm. that's what you all do there. You yes. can do a little bit of everything and customize we can do a that. rug for somebody. Oh, yeah. Let's we tell folks that. where they can find you, shall we, John? I'll put the information sure. on the screen. <laughs> if you want to get in touch with John Kababi and folks, he's right here in New Haven, family business since 1882. If you missed that, come to WTNH.com, click on Connecticut Style, and we'll provide the link. John Kababi, and thank you so much for being thank here. You, we appreciate it. Thank you very Kababian. much. Kababi, I like that. All right, everybody. Hey. We've got more Connecticut Style coming up right after this, so stick around. <laughs> Thank you.